Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Kiwi channel. Uh, maybe we will come back after a long time. Uh, so uh, there is a new tool for a load testing, which is K6.io, which is developed by Grafana Labs. Actually, this is an open source. Uh, you can use it for free uh, without paying anything. But uh, there is another option called Grafana Cloud. So what is uh, open source and what is cloud? So if it is a cloud, we have to pay. Uh, there are some uh, fee like uh, for running on the cloud. So, but uh, even that same thing cloud we can set up in our uh, local or in our uh, server. So, even that we can ignore it, uh, no problem. So, this K6IO, why we are moving uh, from uh, JMeter to K6IO? Even we have few videos about uh, JMeter in uh, multiple versions. Uh, uh, why we are moving here is like uh, the max uh, uh, thread I can run with the uh, JMeter in our local is 1000 thread, I guess. Uh, maybe with the server we can go as much as possible, depends on the uh, server capacity uh, ec2 server or some local server but this k6io supports more than 50000 uh, uh, view uh, generator something like uh, users or thread count with uh, so smooth actually also it has a recording option for a web browser as well as apis so uh, load testing you can do with the even login flow with the api and you can include asset in exclude asset there are a lot of option while recording also so there are there are a lot of future as well as uh, so smooth uh, that's why we are uh, actually looking into this tool uh, even i have used uh, in uh, uh, two project actually so that's after that uh, i feel like uh, making a video is like useful for others uh, this is a new tool anyway maybe you are all already aware of it uh, uh, you guys can explore this recording feature and all also grafana cloud also for free version there is a free trailer also we can explore that as well so uh, we let's 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 set up uh, it's open source then they were asking to download uh, if it is uh, mac you have to just install brave install k6 terminal so let me uh, paste it brave install k6 if it is windows you can do winget install k6 source and set using docker also you do so the, everything there is option for everything so once you run this command it will actually install k6 so in this video we'll see uh, installation and uh, run some basic test so i think uh, you should have a javascript or node.js uh, before that uh, then it will install as well as it it set a k6 uh, just run k6 see k6 return k6 is uh, working fine so install also path also set up in windows also mostly when you are installing with the uh, winget it will set up the path otherwise go to c program files so remember go to c drive and program files you can find the k6 so set up a bin path uh, in your environment variable then k6 will be available after uh, with with the new terminal or new command prompt okay so what we will do is uh, we'll make one directory uh, maybe k6 load test cd k6 load test so let's open with our uh, open this folder with uh, our visual studio code i have yes uh, it is opening let's open the folder there is no file as of now just trust this okay let's follow the uh, let's let's follow the instruction because even if you guys are missing something you can just follow the instruction so there is a troubleshooting if something is not working then running k6 so after adding they were asking to create some script and uh, uh, do like this so what i'll do we'll create one script using test.k6.io this site okay so I'll, what i'll do i'll just copy paste go here i'll create a i'll create a file called uh, uh, maybe test test script sorry test script dot js i'll paste this so uh, if i want to explain this line let me make it bigger so if I want to uh, explain like this, actually we are importing K6 and we are importing HTTP to handle the HTTP uh, methods and sleep 
to uh, just making a sleeve for one uh, second or one millisecond one second actually so here here is the option where we mention view yes is like a thread count it is like uh, users we can say and duration is total run time okay so let's total run time there is one more option iteration we'll call it in this we haven't used it so iterations you can put one iteration means it will run only one time uh, even 30 second if you 10 user will run only once and it will it will come out okay so let's run with iteration i'm just added iteration excluding the like uh, with our uh, what is this with our sample script okay running command is very simple that k6 is already uh, uh, like uh, its command is accessible so just we have to run uh, this much is not required k6 run the script the js file that's it okay so what i'll do i'll just go to terminal k6 run test script okay the number of iteration cannot be less than the number of user 10 okay so 10 user right so if i put one just run one okay so this all good it, sh it, it should be more than that actually that's what they are saying so one complete just one request went and we have got the uh, report in the command line where uh, we have to understand something like how many iteration how many user how much maximum user HTTP request only two requests uh, it went then average uh, request sending average request like how much data received something and all we are getting so what I'll do it I'll just I'll just remove this put 10 user for 30 second what it what will act, actually happen is like for complete 30 second 10 user will run again and again so you can see 10 user is reached the server 10 requests complete now 20 requests 30 requests so till 30 second it will continuously run so that's what it means the durations okay so it's kind of a straightforward how much time you want to run and how many user maybe if you have the requirement that 50 user check the uh, check whether the service or api is able to handle 50 user for uh, five minutes run and uh, how many requests per second so this of the stuff will be the requirement right so 30 second is 30 second got over for 10 user 30 second totally there are 206 request sent iterations 206 and there are six views max is 10 it is like a minimum uh, in overall if you see minimum it's six max is 10 it reached uh, you, you you can say like uh, six requests per second 6.5 request per second you can say uh, 6.5 transaction uh, per second also you can calculate uh, http request and uh, average data received 2.5 mb so http duration is 232 millisecond average min is uh, 216 millisecond medium 227 ninth is percentage also we have here okay so this one like look like a kind of not readable right we, we just have the command prompt so this we can store it into a csv json or whatever but we should have some kind of html report to do it okay that maybe we can see in our uh, next video so how can we set up a uh, html and how can we run it on the grafana cloud what are all the format we can make also if you are using api you need to do a correlation and all that we can see on the next video guys uh, thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe and share with your friends